I've spent the last month skating these independent stage fours. I've skated these sloppy trucks for a year, and I've skated ace trucks for years before that. And now I'm going to compare all three of them and let you know what I think of them. But I have also recently, the last couple of weeks, been drinking a Magic Mind. It is a mental performance shot, uh, not an energy drink. It actually is a supplement to your coffee. It's a caffeine charged magical experience i think it's, it's awesome it's got some of the best ingredients in the world some of the top grade ashwagandha all kinds of other great stuff it's made by scientists and doctors it's really good stuff i drank one literally right before this video and it's got me feeling great it really does i did the, the seven day challenge is what they call it try to drink it for every day for seven days and the benefits stack when i was drinking it every day you can feel the benefits stacking every day it gives you a bit of a kind of like a calm feeling but you also feel energized it's kind of hard to explain but it's a very special unique feeling and like i said it does not replace your coffee or even your energy drinks or anything like that it's a supplement to caffeine it really does help because sometimes when i'm out skating and things like that maybe i'll grab a you know an energy drink of some sort or something like that or a coffee or something like that uh, but this will help this helps in conjunction with that it's a great it's a great productivity booster. I think, I like I said, I've been drinking it for a couple weeks now. It's helped me avoid taking naps, that's for sure. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, I'm a big napper, and if I'm feeling kind of like sluggish in the middle of the day, like I usually am because I wake up real early, I'll take a Magic Mind shot and I can get all the work done that I need to because, you know, sometimes I like to procrastinate and put it off till later. But no, Magic Mind really helps out a lot with that. They hit me up. They emailed me. They said, hey, you want to try these out? And I said, certainly I do. That looks fantastic. It's premium, top grade stuff here, like I was saying. And I really was interested in trying it. And uh, I really liked it. So they wanted to sponsor the video after I was like, hey, this is some good stuff. Really like what you guys are doing over there. I'm going to have a link in the description and the pinned comment down below with a discount code if you guys want to try it out bubby toad 20 is the code you can even get more off if you choose to do a subscription but a one-time payment you're gonna get 20 percent off subscription i believe it was like 48 percent and that's for the next 10 days and they also have a hundred day 100 percent money back guarantee if you do not like the product They're really great people over there really great product and i really fully back this so if you guys are interested go check that out thank you to magic mind we salute you. We are out here checking out the independent stage four 146s. I read an 8.5 board. It's, you know, I can't really tell. It's a little shorter. Apparently, these measure the axle apparently is like 8.375, but I can't really tell. Looks good to me. I don't know. I don't see any jiggle there. Um, they did a couple grinds. As you can see, there were some kids here. I didn't want to interrupt their session. And now nobody's here. So. We can tape some moves. Uh, I had to tighten them up a lot. They were super, super loose. Um, the slappies straight out of the package are absolutely perfect in terms of how tight or loose they are. To me, I don't know, you might need to loosen them up or tighten them up, but to me, they feel fantastic. These were super loose. I had to tighten them up a good bit. Um, and they now they feel a little too tight, but it's also cold outside too, so maybe when it's warmer and you know it's kind of good to tighten them up and then let them loosen up from there naturally over time i don't know one thing that is of concern is the hanger clearance is not as good as sloppy obviously so we're gonna do some smith grinds and see how that works out uh so let's get to it Now, the box is where we're really gonna get some kingpin interference on Smith grinds. As you can see, I was doing a couple Feebles, a couple Smiths, and uh, we got a tiny bit of kingpin grindage there, kind of mostly right there, but uh, the box is gonna be the true test, and this thing sucks ass, so get ready for that. That's gonna be fun. Final summary on the first session with the new trucks. Uh, they're definitely stiff, it's the bushing's fault. There's a lot of uh, tweaking that needs to be done, adjusting. But you know, uh, pretty much every truck company's bushings, aside from Slappies, are the only truck company that I like their bushings. 
when I used to skate aces, sorry, I'm out of breath, I was running. <laughs> when I used to skate aces, I always put bones bushings in, but I wanted to try the stock bushings with these. Um, but yeah, they're just sticky and uh, not worn in. They don't feel like they turn very good right now, but we gotta wear them in. That's pretty much every bushing there is. Aside from if you're buying some bones bushings or something like that, or like I said, the sloppy bushing. So I'll update you guys in like a month. Uh, it'll be in this video, so you don't have to wait a month. It'll be right now. Now to talk about these trucks, these independent stage fours. I have the wheels on them and the bearings and everything. These I was skating previously right before. These are the hollow. Actually, these are the hollow uh, sloppy trucks. There's three different types of sloppy trucks, I believe. There's the hollow, the standard, and the light. Now, now they have the light. And this independent stage four is pretty much, from my understanding, I'm not entirely sure, and I could be wrong. I believe that that is what the that ace trucks are based off of. The guy who designed stage fours, I believe, left independent or whatever the case is, started ace, and he said, I really like that truck design. You guys took it too far and brought it back to this. As you can see, that angle looks very acey. This angle, we've got some action going on in here, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Um, but I do like the design of these. I actually made got made fun of a couple times by my friends. They're like, what the hell are those trucks? And I'm like, ah, they're stage fours, and you know, they're from the 80s. They're old ass design of truck. But independent wanted to bring them back because people really love um, aces, and then slappy is pretty much literally like, if you, if you, took a glance at this you would say that's just an ace truck because it has a very very similar design i believe that this is just a little bit wider i think that's the only difference maybe maybe obviously well the kingpin sits a lot lower and there's there's a lot of things that are advantageous to this compared to ace so we'll get into all that in a second i just kind of wanted to talk about the trucks and where we're coming from uh, out of the box i think slappy trucks are the best trucks uh that you can buy straight out of the box like no warm-up nothing fantastic they feel great I, z I made zero adjustments for the entire year of skating my first pair of sloppy trucks zero adjustments ever nothing ever broke nothing was ever wrong with them i thought they were fantastic through and through durable great quality trucks fantastic stuff uh i would say me personally i liked them better than the ace out of the box because the ace I had to switch the bushings and things like that and everything i had zero problems with my slappies um and these are there's a couple things that happen with these that I can say I think that slappies are a little better uh, mostly because of the design obviously this is an old design like I said but check this out look at that kingpin this is a month of skating I don't know if that's gonna there you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of damage on the kingpin area I was doing some smiths on some ledges and things like that and you better believe this thing was catching all day long catching uh, grinding in the ledge halting me from smith grinding and these slappy trucks, look at the clearance on that thing. Look at the clearance on that bat. You see that? Look at that. That's not even the inverted kingpin. This is the, the regular kingpin. And the clearance is out of control, player. As you can see here, this is my Smith truck right back here. Uh, the damage, you can be able to do it, is very negligible. Compared to this, which I skated these a lot longer than these, this one is pretty in there it's pretty fucking in there and these are also heavier i noticed immediately putting these on my board that they were heavier uh than the slappy trucks uh i think it's this little wing under here i think that adds a decent amount of weight i don't know I, they wanted to keep it the original design i feel like if they kind of carved that out and made it literally more in line with a slappy or an ace that it would probably feel better i don't know definitely be lighter that's for sure but the turning was great uh, everything has been fine. I've not had any problems as, you know, I thought maybe I would with independent trucks quality, but maybe they're, maybe they're getting back, uh, they're getting their quality back up because when they first left America, I've been skating independent trucks since I first started skating back in 2001 and I skated them forever. When they first left America, I noticed a, a, a good dip in quality, um, skated them for a, still a long time after that, but I would be breaking trucks, kingpins, stripped axles, blah, 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 the whole thing. And then, like I said, Ace and, and Slappies. I've had zero problems with, but I've had zero problems with these as well. I do like them. They're a little bit heavy. Um, I think that Slappies and Ace are probably better trucks. I would say definitely, in my opinion. In my opinion, they're better, and they don't look as goofy. These definitely do look a little goofy. Like I said, I got made fun of. Um, but I do like them. I do, I do like them. They turn great. They grind great. Everything about them is great. This Kingpin is definitely going to get in your way. When you're trying smiths and feebles on ledges and anything anything where your kingpin might get in the way it's gonna get in the way with this bad boy um but you know if you're if you like if you just love independence and you really want to skate something that's reminiscent of an ace truck 
and but you don't want to scan an ace truck for some reason stage fours are, are there for you i feel like stage four trucks probably not going to be around from independent too like for too long because it's kind of a gimmick thing right it's like oh it's it's we're, you guys ripped us off but this is actually the original one i don't know if anybody's actually buying them they just want the stage 11s blah 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 um i've never seen anybody skating these besides myself in person i've obviously seen it online but i've never seen it in person um so i don't know how much longer these are going to hang around with independent but maybe that maybe they will maybe people will like them but i feel like if you want this type of shape of truck you're going to skate aces or slappies um but that's my experience with them so i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments and don't forget to check out magic mind i got like i said pin comment and in the description discount code for you guys uh thanks a lot to magic mind i really do love the product so go check that out and i'll see you guys later